My name is Marcello, and all of us from TSAV would like to welcome you to the Source Audio Video Design Group's YouTube channel. Today we will look at the Dan Clark Audio Ether 2 open back headphones. This video will discuss some design features, build quality, and some of my initial sound impressions. Stay tuned for the next video in the series where I will compare the Ether 2 to another headphone. The Ether 2 is currently the flagship open back headphone in the DCA headphone lineup. The Ether 2 is made of titanium, aluminum, and carbon fiber, weighing only 290 grams. Paired with DCA's excellent nitinol and leather headband system, the Ether 2 is one of the most comfortable headphones I have ever worn. 290 grams also places the Ether 2 as one of the lightest flagship planner magnetic headphones available around its price point. The Ether 2 uses DCA's V planner driver processing, which according to Dan Clark Audio helps to improve bass response and lowers distortion. The headphones also use DCA's True Flow version 2, helping to increase resolution and improve dynamics. The Ether 2 completely redesigns the DCA's original Ether Flow headphones. One of Dan Clark Audio's goals for the Ether 2 was to deliver a detailed sound quality experience without sounding bright or fatiguing, using a 100% proprietary 71mm by 45mm single-ended planar magnetic driver designed in-house, the Ether 2's drivers are 70% lighter than the Ether Flow drivers. The Ether 2 moves the magnets away from the listener, helping increase detail retrieval while maintaining a musical warmth to its sound, never sounding fatiguing. All Ether 2 drivers are matched to plus or minus 1.5 dB to target curve, channel matched to 0.5 dB weighted 30 to 9 kHz, sporting a THD of less than 0.2% 20 to 20 kHz, the Ether 2 aims to please even the most discerning audiophiles. Another cool thing about the Ether 2 headphone system is the ability to have three unique headphone sound signatures with one headphone by utilizing DCA's three peelable ear pads, a perforated, suede, and solid pad. According to Dan Clark Audio, each pad creates a unique voice that can be chosen based on a listener's personal preferences or genre of music. Based on the perforated and suede pads, I will give some of my sound impressions in this video. I will also link to our website in the video description where you can see more details about the headphones and pads. Also included with the Ether 2 is a Vivo cable with a termination of your choice, a carrying case, a manual, and a cleaning cloth. Okay, let's get into my favorite part of every video, the sound quality. I started listening first with the perforated pads on to get a feel for the Ether 2 sound, starting first with a logical song from Supertramp. At the start of the song, I first noticed the cymbal soundstage imaging and width. The vocals are presented with a smooth character, not sounding too forward. The woodwind sounds excellent, very enjoyable, never harsh. Ether 2 is presenting incredible macro and micro detail across the track without sounding bright or artificial. The cymbals have a great splash and the drums have real pop and life when being played. I thoroughly enjoyed the Ether 2 with this track played off my core TT2. Switching to the suede pads and the bass becomes more evident across the song and the soundstage doesn't sound quite as accurate. The woodwind sounds like it presents a bit more energy in the upper notes, creating a fun way to switch up the sound and allowing for a listener's personal preferences to be adjusted manually through the use of pads. The next song I listened to was Teardrop from Massive Attack. The piano keys have great body and weight with the vocals of Elizabeth Frazier sounding lovely positioned center stage around my forehead. The bass line doesn't sound overdone, with a piano keys beat from the bass line and vocals having the most energy in the production of this song. Switching to the suede pads and the synths and the bass line have a bit more energy on the song's opening. The beat presents with more slam and body along with the piano keys when they come in. Vocals still sound exquisite with just a bit more upper mid-range energy giving them more definition. I enjoy both pads and I could see this coming down to the genre of music or the mood I was in on a particular day on which pads I would choose. Switching pads by the way is not complicated at all. Peel the pad off with a provided tool and your fingers and stick on the other pads making sure the surface is clean before installing. Sure, it takes a little longer than switching pads on some headphones but it is not challenging and at least there is an option to change the pads as many manufacturers still don't offer this. The next song I listened to was Tears in Heaven Live Unplugged 2013 Remaster from Eric Clapton. The guitar strings sound brilliant with superb detail and tone balanced beautifully by Clapton's incredible vocals. The chorus's vocals image superbly from the left side of the stage. The body of the guitar being played is so soulful while still presenting so much detail, never sounding harsh or fatiguing. Just a brilliant presentation of this track, one I could lean back and enjoy without having to overanalyze the music while still getting all the macro and micro details I want to hear in the song. Switching to the suede pads and the guitar strings sound to have a bit more bass reverb from them when being played. Clapton's vocals also have a bit more warmth and body. I honestly can't tell which I like better and I find them both to be highly enjoyable with a bit more energy from the strings and vocals when listening to the suede pads. Still, the more balanced, satisfying soundstage of the perforator pads is also terrific. 
Wanting to hear a bit more guitar, I queued up Water of Love from Dire Straits. I am met by Pick Withers' drum sounding reasonably full with a smaller punch while being played. I wouldn't say the Ether 2's punch or slam is their greatest strength, however the dynamic shifts in the music are excellent and the slam of the Ether 2 is better than other DCA headphones I have heard. When the strings come in, I am pleased with their presentation. They have great energy and twang at all the right points without going too far forward. The warmth of the Ether 2 while still providing such excellent soundstage imaging and detail is superb. I should also add that the Ether 2 is a breath of fresh air after listening to so many overly mid-forward headphones in 2022. The signature of the Ether 2 allows me to kick back and enjoy the music without it coming across as harsh at any point so far in my listening journey. Mark's vocals sound excellent, a little further away on the stage than the drums and guitar on most parts of the track, however when the chorus comes in everything sounds balanced and well represented. More than most DCA headphones I have heard, the Ether 2 is speaking my music love language with this genre and these pads. Switching to the suede pads and the drums have more body and punch when being played. Cymbals also have a bit more energy while Mark's vocals have more presence. Honestly, this is what is so cool about pad rolling with headphones. Same headphones, but a different presentation and sound. The guitar has more twang on certain portions of the song than the perforated pads, and on first listen, I get the sense that the perforated pads are the more balanced, fun sound, and the suede pads are the more impactful, exciting sound. The next song I listened to was from the Weekend's Dawn FM album, Take My Breath, and the slam steps up a notch, sounding relatively fast and defined, however, not as much bass or punch as I would prefer with the perforated pads. When the Weekend's vocals come in, I saw the fire in your eyes, I immediately get tingles as they are presented with a subtle warmth and glow that sounds surreal. It will be interesting to listen to this song on the suede pads to see how it changes the character of the bass as this song is very punchy with a rich bass line. With the perforator pads, I am hearing a very pleasing mid-range and soundstage, but maybe a little safe in its presentation all the way around from this song. Switching to the suede pads, and the sense of punch is increased, along with the increased bass energy. I'm hearing an upper mid-range lift, which defines the weekend's vocals a bit more clearly from the rest of the track. However, they lose some of the warm glow I heard with the perforated pads. The sub-bass rumble and punch on the song are noticeably more enjoyable with the suede pads. For some modern pop, electronica, and some rock, I think many listeners may enjoy the suede pads over the perforated pads. However, the perforated pads were also enjoyable, and it will come down to a listener's preferences. The last song for my initial sound impressions was from the Thievery Corporation symphonic album, Heaven's Gonna Burn Your Eyes. I like this track as it combines the power of orchestral music along with beautiful vocals and electronic music production. The soundstage, imaging, and detail sound wonderful with excellent layering. The vocals sound exceptional with a large lifelike image. As the song starts to shift around 157, the keys and synthesizer mixed with the oncoming drums and cymbals sound exquisite. Listening to the suede pads and the overall character of the detail-rich warm sound of the Ether 2 still presents itself, however, with a bit more bass energy. Vocals also sound more forward with slightly more upper mid-range energy. The soundstage doesn't sound quite as large or balanced with the suede pads, but still terrific. In conclusion, I'm a big fan of Dan Clark's Ether 2. I love that you can pad roll getting three different sound signatures from one headphone. The lightweight design and comfortable headband system provide one of the most comfortable listening experiences for me in the HeadFi world. Dan's flagship closeback Stealth is a revolution in headphone listening with some of the most extraordinary new tech and design in the headphone industry. Still, I also think it may be causing many headphone lovers to sleep on one of Dan Clark Audio's best headphones for my personal preferences, the Ether 2. With a balanced, rich sound, chock full of detail, resolution, fast dynamics, superb imaging, comprehensive and accurate soundstage, and an ultra lightweight design, there isn't much not to love about the DCA Ether 2, especially at their asking price. The timbre is that of a high quality planar magnetic headphone, and if you enjoy planar magnetic timbre, you will likely find the Ether 2 highly enjoyable in this regard. The punch or slam isn't huge compared to most dynamic driver headphones, but it is still gratifying and paired with the right amp that presents a bit more slam, you can synergize the sound to your liking along with the included pads. I regret not listening to these headphones sooner. With an adequately powered amplifier with good current delivery, the Ether 2 could be an end game headphone for many in the HeadFi hobby not wanting to continue to climb the price ladder. Stay tuned for the next video in this series and don't forget to check out the links in the video description if you want to learn more about the DCA Ether 2 and pick up a pair for yourself.
Don't forget, we have our trade up program. If you have audio gear you want to trade in towards new products and our price match policy, which I will link in the video description, you can always give us a call or message us through the website to make sure you are getting the best price. We hope you enjoyed this first look video of my experiences with the DCA Ether 2 headphones. What about our viewers out there? What do you think of the Ether 2? Are they on your radar or have you been sleeping on them like I was? Thanks again for watching and please do me a favor, smash that like button for us and subscribe today for more headphone videos. Until next time, friends, remember, let the music be your guide.